Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one. We're not at the dresser today, my reloading bench. We're in my office, bedroom. See most of my guns back here and my store shelf. That's all factory ammo. Um, but anyway, I got my first 10 gauge back uh, December 2019, I think it was. November, December, somewhere around there. Somewhere around Christmas time. But anyway, it was a, I still have it, the H&R uh, Sportsman's Long Range Model 176. Big, long 36-inch barrel, which is right here. Just keeps going and going and going and going until it just can't go no more. That is the first 10-gauge I got. Then I got on Gunbroker, started looking at more of them. The one I bought just happened to be the very first one I seen. I also bought my friend Zach a Browning BPS at the same time. Cost about 1300 bucks total after shipping, FFL fees, the cost of the gun, all that good stuff. Um, he paid me back, obviously, but uh, got to looking for another one. I wanted something with a shorter barrel than 36 inches, and uh, I'm still into single shots at this time. Still am. I, I like single shot shotguns a lot. But, you know, I couldn't find one at the right price until I came across this one. This is my 10-gauge uh, slug gun. This one has a cylinder bore barrel, 30 inches, fixed cylinder bore. It does not take, uh, you know, interchangeable chokes. This one does have rifle sights on it. They flip up. Well, the rear one does anyway. The front side is fixed. But uh, this one does have a rifle sight on it, although I am missing the uh, left wing. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but I've showed you before. Again, I can fix that. This one, the wood on it was in very, very rough condition when I got it. Me and Josh had to spice in a, uh, a leather shim right here at the fore end. That's what that is. Because they shaved down the wood. They didn't just uh, strip the finish. They shaved it down, sanded it. And uh, they took way too much off the back of the fore end. So I had to create a uh, spacer. You can see right here, maybe, but uh, the plastic, the white part, does not line up with the wood. It's actually got quite a bit of overhang right here because again, they sanded it way too far down. So I refinished it, re-blew the metal. Looks pretty good now. Great gun. And then I got my Browning pump. 28 inch barrel, matte black finish, interchangeable chokes. I love that gun, it's such a sweet shooter. Weighs about 10 pounds, it's pretty heavy, but the weight doesn't um, it eats up all the recoil. I don't have it here right now. A friend of my brother's is borrowing it for deer hunting. I gave him a box of slugs, federal factory slugs. I have some. Uh, you guys can't see them, but they're right there under the red boxes. Uh, so he's going back out hunting tomorrow, which will be Friday, and uh, hopefully he gets something with it. So that brings us here. A friend of mine messaged me uh, on Facebook. His name is Jim. He's the guy that made the bolt-on depriming punch for my Lee Load All Press. And uh, he said, hey, I'd like to send you this barrel, spare barrel for a 10 gauge. It doesn't fit any of his receivers. So I said, sure, man, we'd greatly appreciate that. And that's what this is, just the barrel. The, the uh, receiver is for my, this is my 36 inch barrel receiver, the Sportsman's Long Range. But I have this barrel on it. It's 23 inches long, you know, not including the choke. I have a Kix choke in it. GT-695, excellent choke. See, this one has a chip in it. Uh, dragged it through the woods last year, deer hunting. Knocked it against the tree or something. I don't know what I did, but I chipped it. That's fine. Still has the color, casing, uh, color case hardening on it. Beautiful old gun. Made in 1978. The serial number tells me on this one. This is a Pardoner model SB2 10 gauge 3.5 inch chamber. It didn't come with the bead sight, so this is the bead out of my 410. I, I do plan on buying a bead and actually putting one in here permanently. Um, didn't come with the fore end or the screw right here for it. So again, this is the screw from my 410. And uh, this is an SB2 barrel, which means it only fits the largest frame h and is an NES, which is fine. This is the large frame. Um, it has a plate around the lug for the barrel. You know, the barrel lug. It's got a plate around it, so I had to uh, route out some wood on the underside of this right here for the barrel to fit. 
um, you know, for the plate. But now all is good to go. This effectively gets me four 10 gauges and this barrel is uh, absolutely pristine inside. Looks like it has never been fired. And like I said, this barrel is 23 inches long, which uh, is something I've been looking for for a while. A barrel this short that has interchangeable chokes. Really, really glad to have it. This is the my 36 inch barrel that originally went with this gun right here. The overall length of this gun is just a couple, maybe two and a half inches longer than the original barrel for it. So that's how short this barrel is. Again, I'm really happy to have it. I have these barrels as lined up as best as I could get them. The one on this hand right here is my full choke barrel, 36 inch. And the one over here is uh, the 23 inch barrel without the choke in it. That is a big, big hole. Bigger than what I'm assuming eight gauge cylinder bore would look like. And if you're curious just how big that hole is, well, it eats a 12 gauge shell. Plastic side in and brass side in. This gun is threaded to take browning chokes, which is what I have. I've got an Indian Creek, two kicks chokes, and three factory browning chokes. So that is awesome. This barrel is so fat that the, uh, the choke tube itself is physically smaller than the barrel. You do not want any of this. Well guys, that's about all I got for you today. Just wanted to show off that new barrel. Uh, I know I'm dying to shoot it and so is Josh. He's pretty excited about it. He uh, fell in love with it when he saw it. We'll patterns and buckshot with it. Shoot some slugs, socket slugs, all that good stuff. But uh, until next time, um, you guys take it easy. Please like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate that. Check out our Patreon if you want to. The link for that will be in the description below. It's as little as a dollar a month. Um, but other than that, we'll see you in the next one.